It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Is this elven? Does it say anything about this well of sorrows? I only recognize a few phrases. <gasps> ah, a belasan, meaning place of sorrow. That must be the well. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shiven. Shivenen. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. So, good Andrastians, we offer a prayer to elven gods. If need be, unless you wish to turn back. I see the Red Templars have already encountered the Temple's Guardians. Those elves lay an impressive ambush. Where are they? Preparing another display of hospitality, no doubt. Why would this be here? Something wrong. It depicts the dread wolf, Fen Harel. In elven tales, he tricks their gods into sealing themselves away in the beyond for all time. Setting Fen Harel in Mathal's greater sanctum is as blasphemous as painting Andraste naked in the Chantry. Some Chantries display statues of Andraste's betrayer Mafareth as part of the chant. It might fulfill a similar function, a reminder of vigilance for the faithful. Still, so long as the wolf's jaws cannot close around us, we may pass safely on. Yes? Are you certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal? Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have seen a true Archdemon rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into blighted bodies, that is the real question. Will answering that question let us destroy Corypheus for good? Perhaps. I would suggest first dealing with the well. If Corypheus obtains it, any chance of success could be lost. Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was little more than a polite knock at the gate. These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. I find it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. If we become so familiar, you can predict my manners and customs now. Nothing is lost by indulging in the occasional civilized conduct. Particularly when unexpected. You said this Mithar was worshipped as a goddess. So one assumes. What is a god but a being of immense power? The dread old gods were nothing more than dragons, after all. They rise as archdemons, and they die. Perhaps Mithar was a powerful elf, a ruler among her kind. History often plays storyteller with facts. Truthfully, I'm uncertain Mithal was even a single entity. The accounts are varied. There are varied accounts of Mithal. In most stories, Mithal rights wrongs while exercising motherly kindness. Let fly your voice to Mithal, deliverer of justice, protector of sun and earth alike. Other paint her as dark, vengeful. Pray to Mathal, and she would smite your enemies, leaving them in agony. Whatever the truth, all accounts of Mathal end the same. Exiled to the beyond with her brethren. 
What do you mean, exile? Tricked by the Dread Wolf, as all the Elven Gods were said to be, trapped in a land beyond the Fade. Many Dalish believe this is why the Elves fell from grace, and their gods did not save them. Or perhaps they were simply rulers slain by Tevinter. Who can say? You've seen the Elves here. They seem... odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren, cultists, fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. Two, these are elves descended from the ancients having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. If they keep records, it could change everything we thought we knew about history. It is thrilling, no? To discover an era thought lost forever has possibly thrived in the shadows. We may, however, find these elves reluctant to part with their long-kept secrets. Yes? You've seen... In one... The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. Is that even possible? How? With magic, anything is possible. Whatever the truth, the Guardians successfully kept the Temple a secret. They must kill all who enter, even the Dalish. A more sensible question might be, why? Let's continue. As you wish. The Temple of Mithal, constructed in an age when elves, not men, dominated this land. Before the Imperium destroyed it. They believed Mithal a goddess of justice. Elves came here to request judgment, after they proved their work. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. You've an army dying out there, Inquisitor. We're wasting time fiddling with this magic. If jumping down will get us out faster, we should do it. Just a thought. Maybe rushing through this place like a mad bull isn't the best plan. You see the urgency. We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. You're very eager to reach our destination. Are we not all eager to stop Corypheus from achieving his mad plan? It sounds like what you want is that well. There is... a danger. 
to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. I wasn't expecting your answer to be so romantic. Trust me, your surprise is matched only by my own. Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It's said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake, yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. What sort of curse should we brace ourselves for if we use the well? It would be easier by far to advise you of a curse. This price is not so well defined. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. Yes. Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? It may have served as a chamber of reflection. Perhaps to contemplate the righteousness of one's cause. More importantly, I suspect none were permitted beyond this area without a priest. Ancient texts claim Mathal passed judgment in the flesh, but was surely the priests who proclaimed rulings here. Why did the ancient elves insist on so many rites? We may safely assume one did not petition high priests for Mathal's justice by strolling up and knocking. I see no more insufferable ceremony here than in a chantry. More rituals? What are they for, do you know? I believe they signify an intent to lay oneself bare, to champion a cause without pity, regret, or shame. Mathal's cult was not fond of vacillation. One approached them with nothing less than complete confidence. What happened to those who were less sure of themselves? Legend does not say. Perhaps this place has a more gruesome history than we know. I want to discuss the well again. Oh, I see. An opportunity to use the well may not even arise. I understand this. All I meant to suggest is that if it does, I be the one to do so. I am willing to accept the consequences. What if something happens to you? What about your son? Kieran is... a strong lad. He will thrive, with or without me. Are you sure of that? <laughs> I am sure of precious little these days.
Time to proceed to the next ritual, I should think. We are close. There is but one more path to follow.
now. Come, let us see if the doors have opened. this part of the temple was used for. It may have served as a chamber of reflection, perhaps to contemplate the righteousness of one's cause. More importantly, I suspect none were permitted beyond this area. Ancient texts claim that Was this chamber used for? Hmm. We're being watched. Venavis. You are unlike the other invaders. You bear the mark of magic, which is familiar. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? They are my enemies, as well as yours. I am called Abelas. We are sentinels, tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. I know what you seek. Like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vera Belasan. The place of the Way of Sorrows. He speaks of the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. So you're elves from ancient times? Before the Tevinter Imperium destroyed Arlathan? The Shemlin did not destroy Arlathan. We Elven warred upon ourselves. By the time the doors to this sanctuary closed, our time was over. Wait, that's not right. What are you saying? You would not know truth. Shemlin history is as short as the pool of your years. What did the Imperium do then? Are you saying it wasn't a war? The war of carrion feasting upon a corpse, yes. We awaken only when called, and each time find the world more foreign than before. It is meaningless. We endure. The Vera Belisan must be preserved. What is this Vera Belisan exactly? It is a path, one walked only by those who toiled in Mithal's favor. He speaks of priests, perhaps. More than that, you need not know. We came to stop Corypheus. He's here to take your well, not I. I believe you. Trespassers you are, but you have followed rites of petition. You have shown respect to Mithal. If these others are enemies of yours, we will aid you in destroying them. When this is done, you shall be permitted to depart. And never return. I'll admit the idea of fighting the last of their kind does not thrill me. Consider carefully. You must stop Corypheus, yes, but you may also need the well for your own. I accept your offer. You will be guided to those you seek. As for the Vera Belisan, it shall not be despoiled, even if I must destroy it myself. No! Oh! destroyed themselves before my countrymen came along. Could that be true? I can hardly believe it. They left someone behind. A handy guide, maybe. Mytholanast. That's helpful, since Morrigan chased off on her own.
place looks untouched. I've seen Elysian palaces with less gold. What did the ancient elves do here? I think she wants us to go back. Just a quick look around.
Ver sumiel. of sorrows. Maker's balls. How has such magic lasted? Fight on! An army of these bastards won't stop us! How will you get to the well, General? Tell me you brought... You tough bastards. A day's march, hours of fighting, and still fierce as dragons. The Chantry never knew what it was throwing away. Samson, sir, watch out! Inquisitor, you and those elf things don't know when to stop. You've hunted us half across Thedas. I should have guessed you'd follow us into this hole. I spoke with your Tranquil, Maddox. He sacrificed himself for your cause. I told him not to. He died as one of us then. One of the faithful. Corypheus chose me twice. First as his general, now as the vessel for the Well of Sorrows. You know what's inside the well? Wisdom. The kind of wisdom that can scour a world. I give it to Corypheus. But he can walk into the Fade without your precious anchor. What's your part in it? What's a vessel? What else empties a well? I'll carry its power to Corypheus. One more task entrusted to me. Being force-fed Chantry Lyrium was good for something. This armor makes me a living fortress, mind and body. I won't forget a word of the well's knowledge. Corypheus? will be unstoppable. Once Corypheus is that powerful, you and your soldiers will just slow him down. You dare say that to my face? After you butchered my men? You're no match for Corypheus. Even if you drink from the well, you'll never master its wisdom as he could. This is the strength that Chantry tried to bind. 
But it's a new world now. With a new god. So, Inquisitor, how will this go? Power's all well and good, until it's taken away. What did you do? What did you do? My armor... is gone. The lyrium! I need it! Kill them all! Still alive, huh? That's some damn good armor. We can take him back to Skyhold for judgment. Heard his parting words, Inquisitor. The elf seeks to destroy the Well of Sorrows. So the sanctum is despoiled at last. You would have destroyed the well yourself, given the chance. To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. Corypheus needed Samson to use the well. Without him, there's no vessel to claim it. The moment we leave, he will send more forces to secure this place. The well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. If that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it? Do you even know what you ask? As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, 
They would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. Look around you. Everything your people were, it's already gone. It is. Why remain? Why perform a duty without purpose? You have shown respect to Mithal, and there is a righteousness in you I cannot deny. Is that your desire? To partake of the Vera Belasan as best you can? To fight your enemy? Gifts like this don't come freely. No boon of Mithal was ever granted without cost. The Vera Belisan may be too much for a mortal to comprehend. Brave it if you must. But know you this. You shall be bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to a goddess who no longer exists, if she ever did. Bound as we are bound. The choice is yours. Is it possible this Mithal might still exist? Anything is possible. Elven legend states that Mithal was tricked by Fen'Harel and banished to the beyond. Elven legend is wrong. The Dread Wolf had nothing to do with her murder. Murder? I, I said nothing of... She was slain, if a god truly can be, betrayed by those who destroyed this temple. Yet the Virabella San remains, as do we. That is something. Are you leaving the temple? Our duty ends. Why remain? The Imperium went to great lengths to expunge elven history. You might be the last to know the truth. Would the elves of your lands listen to the truth? They might. Would it hurt to try? It very well may, Shemlin. Yes. It may be that only Uthenera awaits us. The blissful sleep of eternity never to awaken, if fate is kind. Thank you for this gift, Abelas. Do not thank me yet, Shemlin. You'll note the intact Illuvian. I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Illuvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last Illuvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Seems like that should be a concern. Knowledge begets a hunger for more. I am willing to pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. What training makes you so qualified? I have studied the oldest lore. I have delved into mysteries of which you could only dream. Can you honestly tell me there is anyone better suited? What about you, Dorian? A human from Tevinter scoops up the last bits of elven knowledge? I know why you ask. I know it's important, but... I can't be that man. Perhaps you're right. I am. You know I am. You're not concerned about the price. Bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to the will of a dead god? It seems an empty warning. Perhaps a compulsion yet remains. Who can say otherwise? I do not fear it, even so.
What's to stop you from taking the knowledge and leaving? My word. If that seems insufficient, Corypheus threatens all, even myself. He must be stopped. And who stops you? I, Inquisitor, seek neither immortality nor your life. Thoughts? It all seems ghoulish. Let Morrigan use it, if she wants it so much. I trust you with this power more than her. But it's not for me to decide. You're asking me? This is a lot of... weird... I barely understand how any of this works. Enough deliberation. Give me your decision. It's yours. Seen Salah, his son, his son Allah. I, I am intact. There is much to sift through, but now we can. It is done. I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. Meaning he will attack us directly. It's Skyhold. Not necessarily. But neither will he remain idle. And how could you have such insight into his plans? The Well of Sorrows held many voices. And they speak to me now from across the ages. They hold wisdom. Secrets I never dreamed possible. But even they fear what Corypheus has become. Should we fear him more than his army? Possibly. 
Luckily for you, he has a weakness. The dragon he calls is not truly an archdemon. It is a dragon in which Corypheus has infested part of his being. He doubtless did so out of pride to emulate the gods of old. That pride can be exploited. Kill the dragon, and his ability to leap into other bodies is disrupted. He can be slain. You're sure? If there are no bodies for him to jump to... You assume there is a limit to the range of his power. There is not. Then what do you propose? Killing the dragon is no simple task, if it could even be found. There is a way to defeat the dragon, to match Corypheus in his power. The well whispers it to me now. Your help will be required, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready, and we shall begin. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. Let's see what we have. I must plan for you to fight one last duel, my darling. This time for all of us. Once you find Corypheus, I suppose we must... wait. I'll be thinking of you every step past Skyhold. Flattering, but you have my permission to think of your battle. Please be sure to. I, I hope that you... Maker, I wish you didn't have to go. You mean the world to me, Josephine Montillier. Then return to me safely. <sighs> I must attend to some tasks before you draw out our enemy.
do go before I begin to cry. Here is the request Harriet made. Are there any special instructions? No, I would have stated as much. Yes, of course. Of course you will. What happened at the Elven Temple? It's got me thinking. I should go back, shouldn't I? To Tavinta. Once this is done, if we're still alive. All my talk of how terribly wrong things are back home. But what do I do about it? Nothing. How does this relate to the Elven Temple? That elf, Avalas. He said the Imperium wasn't what destroyed the Elves. My people would never accept that. It would reduce us to scavengers, destroy our legacy no matter how terrible. But we should accept it. Take our history down a peg. Confront the legacy hanging over us like a shroud. Maybe not all of us want to, but that could be altered. If you can change minds, so can I. You're not doing nothing, Dorian. You came here. You're fighting with us. Thank you for saying that. I want to do more than stop Corypheus, however. I want to save my home. It might surprise you to know that you're the one who inspired me. You're shaping the world, for good or ill. How could I aspire to do any less? If it means proving that Tevinter can be better, that there's hope even for my homeland, I would do anything. The Inquisitor. I was pondering who might be divine, and it suddenly occurred to me. Is it so ridiculous for the Grand Clerics to support me? Why shouldn't they? I don't support this. There are better candidates. I see. Then I should be glad it's not up to you. It's time for change, Inquisitor. The Grand Clerics know that. The Chantry was a beacon of hope to me once, you know. In my years at Lothering's Chantry, we turned no one away from our doors. It was a refuge, a place of peace. I felt the Maker's presence and his love even when they told me he'd left us. This is the Chantry I know, the Chantry I wish the world to see. That's never going to happen. Why couldn't I change it? The Chantry dictated where it should have inspired. It spoke of judgment instead of acceptance. It should encourage the good in everyone, rather than rebuke us for our sins. No one should be turned away from our doors. No one is without worth. Whoever you are, whatever your mistakes, you are loved unconditionally in your heart shall burn an unquenchable flame. The Temple of Methal sounds truly astounding. I would have liked to have seen it. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? This war proved that we can't go back to the way things were. I'll try to help this world move forward. You would risk everything you have in the hope that the future is better. What if it isn't? What if you wake up to find the future you shaped is worse than what was? I'll take a breath, see where things went wrong, and then try again. 
Just like that. If we don't keep trying, we'll never get it right. You're right. Thank you. For what? You have not been what I expected, Inquisitor. You have... impressed me. You have offered hope. That if one keeps trying, even if the consequences are grave, that someday things will be better. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve such a fate. The orb he carries, and its stolen power. That, at least, we may still recover. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. You planning to leave before we take down the bad guy? No, but there may not be a later. It seemed wise to say my goodbyes now. It's been quite the momentous day, hasn't it, my dear? We should probably give some thought to the very likely possibility that Morrigan will use her new power against us. What's our plan if she does? Circle records have limited information on shapeshifting. There are mentions of counterspells that may prevent mages from transforming or from reverting to their true forms. I have my people researching these spells now. If they have ever been documented, I'll find them. The pieces are nearly in place. We'll soon strike against Corypheus directly. You've done well. I will be proud to fight alongside you when the time comes. Inquisitor. So, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this. We went to an elven rune so a witch could consume a pool of magical goo and then walked through a mirror and wound up back here. Have I mentioned that the shit that happens to you is crazy? I don't want to think about this anymore. You want to discuss something normal? Tell me more about Bianca. Hmm. I'm not making any promises here. Ask. So how long have the two of you been together? Well, if you want to split hairs, we're not. Usually there's a continent between us at all times. We write letters. Now and then we manage to meet up. I don't know if that's uh, together. Shit. It's been, what, 15 years? Great. Now I feel old. Thanks. What makes the Merchant's Guild such a danger to her? Well, to be fair, it's more of a danger to me. Technically, we're not supposed to be within 300 leagues of one another. If it got back to the Guild that we were seen together, they'd freeze my assets and then have me killed. Maybe not in that order. What in the world did you do to cause that? We almost started a clan war. Does it matter? I, I can't change it now. How do you know Bianca? The lady, I mean, not the crossbow. I met her years ago when she still lived in Kirkwall, and I was looking for someone with uh, mechanical skills. Bianca is, beyond a doubt, the most brilliant smith you'll ever meet. I haven't seen her since she got married and moved to Orlais. Bianca is married. Somehow I thought that the two of you had a history. Bianca's family are Kalna's. Surface dwarves, so conservative they don't take a piss without asking the ancestors first. They picked out a smith cast boy for her. Wealthy, respected, has a great anvil collection. A perfect husband. I heard the wedding was lovely. The one Bianca actually showed up for, anyway. All right, tell me the truth. 
Bianca made your crossbow, didn't she? I mean, it has her name. Uh, it's not that simple. The Carta thinks my Bianca was a freak success by a Carta inventor who could never duplicate it. If they thought anyone else was involved, someone who could make one work, uh, things would be bad. So, I really can't tell the story. I don't want any more blood on my hands. I guess that's it for now. Sure. I'll be here. Victory in the Arbor Wilds. The Archdemon might have been a real threat to our army, but it flew off once we turned the tide. It is still out there, however. I wonder what Corypheus plans now. We'll deal with whatever he throws at us. Do not underestimate Corypheus. He is powerful, and you have yet to fight him one on one. But he will come. You will get your chance. You don't seem concerned about that. I am terrified. Yet I have faith in you. Not long ago, this was impossible to imagine. You, a valued friend, victory close at hand. The time has come to consider what will come next. You will be the next Divine, I assume. That has not happened yet. But it may. If the Maker wills it, then yes, I will answer his call. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. You have come far, my friend. It has been an honor. Thing I'm not a real warden. It's a blessing. Warden or not, I'd hate to be on the other side of your blade. Going up against a darkspawn, and the last thing you want is a grey warden. Funny how these things happen. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. Most of the charges are still at the Temple of Mithal. I missed a crazy fine. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the charges? Most of our people were at the Temple of Mithal. I've still got a few, though. Men who are recovering from wounds. I can send them around to rattle swords, wave flags, and look a lot larger than they are. It'll mess with enemy estimates of our numbers, and so no one thinks Skyhold is undermanned. We'll talk later. So to kill Corypheus, all we have to do is kill his dragon first? That's easy. We're good at killing shit. Just one more big fight to put this magister asshole down for good. I knew you'd get us here, boss. It's been an honor, Bull. 
Oh, don't get like that. This isn't goodbye. We're kicking this guy's ass. You practice that charger roll. The I'm sorry. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. It's just the funniest, isn't it? That creaky old Abelos in Mythal saying the elves weren't destroyed by Tevinta. If that's a joke, I don't get it. Everyone is always, oh, poor elves, victims of this and whatever. But the Empire hates itself. Love it. Like being sad makes them better than me. Turns out they're not victims. They're the same as everyone else. Assholes. Plus, a big old temple full of demon worshipping lies. Grand, that. Why are you dismissing what happened in Mithal? Of course. None of it holds up. I mean, it was impressive and all. Makes the Dalish look like tits for living in the woods, but so what? There can't be a bunch of gods and the Maker. Don't matter how much or little you believe, those don't fit. So call me stupid, but I believe the stuff not made up by dead people who failed. Mithal is a ruin full of demons. I mean, it just makes sense, right? There's so much history there. What if some of it is true? No, now you're stupid. You can't think that because it's stupid. But everything we saw... Why believe it? Because Abelas looked weird. If that's all it takes, Kerifi's shit heel is full of lumpy truth. You're not even an elf. Why are you being so damned elfy? You're the frigging herald of Andraste. Every time you open your mouth, you'll sound like an idiot. Well, it works for you, so I'm in good company. Words are dumb. Haven't had an argument yet, I can't end with arrows. Let me know when you want me to discuss it with Kerifi shit. Corypheus died, and then he didn't. That's why he always felt wrong, like he didn't fit inside himself. He wears another man's life. I thought dying was forever. It's hard for any of us to make sense of. Corypheus is using ancient magic. Is he real? If a man can be dead and then not... Could I have saved the real Cole? Corypheus is using his connection to the Blight to make himself immortal. You couldn't do that. His hands were bruised from beating on the wall. It was dark, like the cabinet where he hid to escape his father. His belly hurt like knives, throat cracked dry. He was alone. I pushed through and held his hand. It was all I could do. He said, thank you. Thank you.
Inquisitor. <laughs> <laughs>